Alright guys, we're back for uh, round 17's review for um, 2022 Supercoach. Uh, 2446, not terrible. Um, top 1%, which I think that's like only the third time I've had that this year. It's been pretty poor. Um, it could have been a bit higher. I think I could have got 2500 if I was... Saturday I was out all day. I uh, didn't get to watch much footy on the weekend overall really, but... Uh, yeah, so I messed up captain. Well, I didn't mess it up. I did it correct. It's just I wasn't home to loop, but uh, we'll get into that. Uh, pretty big, pretty, not big, but I guess good rank jump, uh, 12,000. If I can get top 10k, that's, yeah, I'll take it this year. This year's been rough. All right, so, uh, into the team. Uh, the defense last week was really good. This week, not so much. Uh, Sicily, 92. Uh, again, I didn't really watch much, but I did just check in a couple of times on this game. Um, it looked like the forwards were the ones scoring, not the defenders. I think Dylan Moore had like a 130 or something like that. And for a quarter, it looked like Mitch Lewis was going to 300. Um, Mitch Lewis is actually one of my favorite players, but it is what it is. Uh, Sinclair, 110. Uh, that's probably around what you expect. Maybe closer to 115, but I mean, to one to five points, yeah, it's... Not much. Uh, Doherty one thirty. Um, just his role is so good. Honestly, like his his role is insanely good for super coach. Um, Hewitt same thing. Uh, plays this like midfield uh, pressure role where it's like yeah he's what what's I think pressure is now like a stat they keep. I see a bit on like uh, Fox Footy and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, Hewitt's good for that. Crisp and Short again not. Not amazing from both of them. Uh, Crisp could do a lot better. Hopefully this week against Adelaide, this you know a bit of a better score because I feel like two weeks in a row hasn't been great. And then uh, Short was a little disappointing, but I, f I mean he has been for a, a couple of weeks now. Still over a hundred average, so it could be worse. But uh, obviously I'm losing points here because people would would have had Dawson, who I think Dawson just. You know, by luck of the draw, had a bad week this week. But, you know, genuinely, they're... Dawson's just outscoring them by some week, some weeks, like 50 points. I'm trying to fix this mic, but it is what it is. Uh, the bench, no good. And I think D'Ambrosio is slightly injured. Um, so hopefully that... Hopefully that doesn't matter too much, because I do think my just cover generally is fine. Just give me a sec, I'm trying to yeah, just uh, bring down computer noise a little bit. Actually getting a new computer this week, uh, just waiting on a couple of parts. Oliver was uh, pretty good. I was thinking about the vice captain here, but I just didn't really like the game all that much. Laird was another one, but it was, uh, I did have the Neil captain, and uh, yeah, I liked Neil versus Essendon a little bit more than I like Laird versus, I want to say it was... St. Kilda. I, I, again, I didn't watch um, this weekend. I was too busy. No, it was Hawthorne. All right. But, yeah, of course. I, I looked at parts of that game. Um, see, now here, I had two cap advice, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. And um, I got home Saturday night about 6 o'clock, um, or 7 o'clock maybe, and everyone had already started playing, so there was no loops or anything like Richmond played earlier, or, you know, the same game. Uh, Owens, the St. Kilda game had already started. It was, yeah, it was tough. Um, and that's what cost me, like, a, you know, what's that, like, 40-point difference, something like that. I'm not doing math. Um, McRae was fine. Dogs were pretty bad, honestly. The, the one game I did watch, like, all the way was the Swans game. That was pretty cool. Uh, it was a pretty good game. And... Yeah, the dogs just didn't show up. I think at one point it was like 40 to 7 or something like that. Uh, Merritt, back-to-back -back huge weeks. This week didn't rely so much on the goals. It was just a, a good all-around midfield game, which, I mean, it's been a while since he's had one of them, so take it. Petrarca was a little down, uh, and so was Cripps. Cripps versus West Coast is so weird. Just mids. Uber premium mids versus West Coast is a little weird this year because they don't score what you think they'd score. Uh, you think, all right, well, going into West Coast, it's going to be like a 140. Uh, not the case. 
Um, right, never mind about that. Um, yeah, then Josh Carmichael did play. Um, this was just a trade in. It was between him, uh, Carter Michael, uh, Joe Cully, who I don't think actually did play again. I didn't watch, but I don't think he played. Uh, I think it was named Emergency. He might play this week though, so we'll see. Um, yeah, Carmichael did play, so it was all right. Uh, Wits Darcy, pretty good. Uh, neither were like excellent, but both pretty good. Uh, Teak was done for the season. Bont, the trade in, was, you know, got overscored because that's what Champion Data does with Bont. Didn't deserve 100, but he got it. Um, English probably deserved it a little bit higher, but, you yeah, know, dogs got smashed, to be honest. Expected a little better when uh, Laddams went down, and he did improve, but. Yeah, I'd, I'd have thought he'd done a bit better, but... Um, Canelio was fine. Um, just looking at, you know, recaps and stuff like that, he was fine. 113, you take it, obviously. Um, you know, there's there's not too many better forwards. I'm guessing Brody's the main one I'm missing, and so is Libba. Uh, but you can only have, like, so many dog players. Like, if I had Libba, that's four out of my six are dogs. That's nuts. Uh, Dunkley wasn't good. Uh, not too worried. He's he's one, almost one ten average. He's fine. Uh, Parker was good. Uh, the whole sit Swans midfield was good. Um, see how it goes because he he started. He started good and then like faded off in the second and third and then like picked it up back in the fourth. Uh, see how it goes. It's still waiting for him to like put together a full game. Um, of scoring because he, he does this he kind of like goes up and down throughout a game if he was to keep it together he'd probably put up like a 140 and then Heaney was great he had like five goals uh, four I think it was four goals and should have been five or five and should have been six and then uh, the bench was terrible but, but yeah there's not much you can do there as long as they play actually sometimes it's better if they don't play because uh, then they, you have a loop and if uh, Rhett Bazo got dropped then I would have had a loop uh, anyway, there's no trades this week because there's about two weeks left of the normal season, uh, like for Supercoach, it's about, what is it, it's like five weeks left of the uh, super AFL season, uh, so six, seven, whatever, I'm not doing math, uh, but yeah, not much to do now, it's just kind of go over teams and players, uh, let's just see who am I actually missing as players any day now. This site, I don't know, it uh, must be like super intensive on a CPU or something like that because my computer should be able to run this. I was just playing Cyberpunk before. Um, or oh, I ran the diagnostic check on Cyberpunk. Uh, Mills is one I'm missing, but since I have the top three and I have four out of the top five, I should be fine there in terms of mids. Um, Dawson's a pretty big one, honestly. He's... But I do have the top two defenders. Dawson, yeah. Should have brought in um, Dawson over Doherty. But that was, I think, last week, the week before. Not much I could have done there. Because uh, when it came out, like the player I needed, uh, Doherty had already been locked in. Petrarca led... Petrarca's still the side. I guess it's total points. Uh, in a way, total points does matter a lot. He's still 110 average. Uh, but yeah, I kind of got all the, the top players for each position. Honestly, it's, uh, it's going to take forever to load, so I don't really like doing this. But um, go to forwards. I think I've got all the top forwards. Yeah, Liver and Brody are the only ones I'm missing. And is that... So I have six, one... Two, three, four, five. Who am I missing? Who's not? Um, I don't... Who's my team? Luke Parker is missing? No. Tim English. Alright, because it's on total points, that's why. And English has missed a couple of weeks. Uh, Baz, I don't know if I really want to count, because he's, he's going to come back so late in the season. I think it's like the week after next. Um, uh, Parker, Cogs, and Heaney. Hmm. 
Yeah, Delmore 135, that's pretty nuts. He's not been too bad this year, to be honest. Taranto was another pick. I was going to go him over Bond. Um, not like it, in terms of play or anything like that, but if I couldn't afford Bond, then I would have went down to uh, Taranto. Just because I'm not liking this Brody and Fife rotation thing they're doing. Um, Trelaw was had an injury going into the game and then played half back, which apparently as soon as you're out of form as a mid, just play half back and then you're back to like all Australian form. Uh, granted, he doesn't play defense. I mean, none of the midfield players turned half back play defense. That's just how it is. Himmelberg finally missed the ton, but he's already gone up to 550 pretty much. That's nuts. I should have hopped on that. I don't think I could, though. I have to go back to that week. But I don't think I could hop onto that. I think I had too many injuries. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not going to keep time wasting. Um, yeah, that's about it for this week. There's honestly not much going on. End of the season. A couple of good scores. Um, injuries. I, were, I think Darcy Parrish was like the only like big out this week. He should be back in this week, so I don't think you have to like act on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oliver got hurt. Uh, just, hmm, if he misses this week, that's a bit rough. Um, I guess I could just field a wear on Ambrosio. Can I? No, I can't. So I can't get them to the midfield. Um, hmm, that's actually interesting. Thinking, who do I trust more out of these ones? Carmichael versus Adelaide. I'd have to go back and look at Carmichael's um, performance. Definitely none of you are going on field. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Um, but captain probably near, uh, led into... Took versus Essendon isn't bad. But Essendon's not... I mean, Essendon's beat two top eight teams in the last <clears throat> two weeks. Something like that. Or two in the last three. West Coast beat them and then they went on a roll. Um, Hawks, I mean, if you've got Titch, then maybe, but again, West Coast haven't been too bad for Supercoach. Yeah, do not go into this game. This is a very clear Neil tag. Uh, even if GWS doesn't tag, they're going to tag. It's just it's how it goes. Um, but yeah, until um, next week, let me know what your teams are doing, how your rank is like ending up since you know there's about two, three weeks left. Um, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Tasty out.